I always talk to the Border Patrol and they tell me at least one of the draws for people coming here illegally is promises to pick up their health care. Obviously nothing is free. Uh, Ms. Turner, maybe you could comment a little bit on the effect on health care costs in the private sector as more and more people come here illegally and who is paying for uh, for their health care. And again, I'll, I'll remind you that the Border Patrol have told me that they feel that some people are coming into this country, not just because the administration obviously has somewhat of an open door policy, but because they feel they're getting free health care. Who's paying for that health care? A number of different programs are paying for their health care. There are disproportionate share hospital payments to hospitals that have um, more patients who cannot pay for their care. You actually see employer plans paying more for coverage because private, because public plans and uncompensated care drives up the cost. So, so on, in many cases, it's taxpayers and it's also people with coverage and private plans. Right. How, how many of these people are paid for by a government program, and how many directly have to be eaten by the providers? You know, I was interested to see when I was looking at the, the uh, CBO study on the uninsured that about half of the uninsured actually, of, of illegal immigrants actually have, have coverage. So I think there are, um, there are different ways for people to get, to get coverage than... Um, then right. If somebody comes here, yeah. and I suppose they get coverage from an employer, right? I would presume employer, but they may have actually some private plans that they buy, short-term limited duration plans, other, other okay. private plans. When people don't have plans, and the number of illegal immigrants in this country, different people argue about 10 million, 20 million, we don't know. Um, let's say there are 15 million people here illegally. Obviously, that's going up every month considerably, and it's particularly going up in significance if the Border Patrol is right in telling me that some people come here specifically for the, for the free insurance. Um, does that cause private insurance or insofar as individual hospitals bill out their billing to go up to compensate for the people that they are that they have to pay for health care that they are not being compensated on. Yes, and and the price negotiations are very opaque and complex among hospitals and plans and prior payers. Right, but somebody's got to eat yes. it, right? At the Somebody end of the day, the hospital it. to pay their mortgage, to yes. pay their employees. If people are coming into that hospital and they don't have insurance, but they have to have something being taken care of. And at least I'm told that if they have a serious problem at the border, yeah. we will deliver them to the local hospital. And of course, other people are being shipped all around the country. Those costs are being eaten by the private sector or the individuals who are being billed on an individual basis. Isn't that true? Correct. Do you know, do, does that happen in other countries? Do you know, do you have any idea, like in, in European countries where they Actually, have... Actually, other countries have, have um, very different ways. There's really no one way that you can say other countries deal with it, but that is, it is a problem everywhere and it rises costs, increases costs for those who do pay, for those, but from those who don't pay, or cannot pay. Okay. Um, and I want to talk a little bit about pharmacy benefit managers. Um, I'm under the impression right now a lot of times they're rebates, a lot of times the pharmacy benefit managers wind up uh, eating those, those rebates. Could you comment on the fairness and the kind of who is getting the benefits and who are the intended beneficiaries? Of, of the rebates offered by the pharmaceutical Yes, industry. there are large rebates that go through the pharmaceutical benefit managers, and they say that that reduces insurance costs across the board. But there are policy proposals that would have those rebates go directly to patients at the pharmacy to actually reduce their costs. I think that would be better policy. I have a bill like that. So you think that would be a good idea if we care about the individual to make sure that the rebates, and the rebates are intended to go to the consumer, right? not the pharmacy benefit manager, is that true? And we need more transparency so people understand that those rebates are, are going to the PBMs and because of the transparency, lack of transparency, we don't know where, rather than to the patient. Thank you.